Housing concerns every family in Kuwait. The state, therefore, undertakes housing with special care. This is manifested in the mere existence of a Ministry for Housing and a general corporation for carrying projects into effect. Every aspect of either of them undertakes specified arrangements in absolute accord within the objectives of the state general policy. Since Kuwait is a developing country, whose growth ratio exceeds that of similar countries, the existence of a dynamic housing policy, elastic enough to cope with the constant growth, is of crucial importance. Recently, plans have not succeeded to meet the increasing requisitions for state houses. The state, therefore, has established a Supreme Council for Housing, chaired by the Crown Prince come Premier, to survey the housing status in the light of the data when the demand outweighed the capacity of the available executive systems of the state. The council started finding alternatives to reduce the impact of the problem and to set up a new housing policy. The Supreme Council for Housing made several suggestions, one of which was to update and screen the requisitions to determine the exact number of those who actually need housing care. Moreover, the Council agreed on replacing the housing patterns labelled as medium and that for those of limited income by a unified pattern having all the demanded specifications. Added to this was the agreement on effecting the distribution of sites among those who are entitled for the housing care under new restrictions and with limited proportions of sites allotted for the state housing as well as resuming the system of allotted sites and loans, which was applied earlier. Referring to Kuwait's achievements of last year, it is to be found that Kuwait represented by its specialized establishments and banks offered numerous loans and subsidies of millions of dinars to friendly and sister countries in contribution to their prosperity through development projects. Such actions substantiate Kuwait's belief in the significance of the international cooperation for global welfare. Kuwait has realized the importance of developing the various branches and specializations of education, believing it is the cornerstone of success in the national development plans on the economic, the social and the education levels. Kuwait has therefore given this field great importance and facilitated all means for her children to promote their academic studies at minimum costs. Kuwait University, the greatest educational monument in the country, opened its gates in 1966. Among its significant objectives are the preparation and provision of leaderships for all the scientific and professional sectors of the community, and the preparation of thoughtful youth who are capable of expressing their thoughts, both theoretically and practically, 
and of contributing, through scientific research, to finding solutions to social problems. Kuwait University consists of eight colleges, including the Faculty of Medicine, which was established according to the plan of the university to produce the various medical specializations needed for the development plans. The students of the Faculty of Medicine, according to the ambitious objectives of the university, are to achieve such a level that corresponds with the universal academic standard and copes with the constant developments in medical sciences. His Highness the Emir honors his children, the graduates, by sponsoring in person the graduation ceremonies of Kuwait University held annually. His Highness kindly distributes the degrees to the graduates. Early in December 1983, His Highness distributed at the Faculty of Medicine the degrees among the Faculty of Medicine graduates of 1982-1983. His Highness the Emir also provided the graduates with his kind and discreet directions to proceed in their march along the route of progress, prosperity and bounty. If Kuwait witnesses today a comprehensive awakening in all facilities and fields, this will also be reflected on its armed forces. Under the new challenges confronting the Arabian Gulf area in particular, as well as the Arab world in general, the state of Kuwait, applying its policy of developing and modernizing the various Kuwaiti military forces, has already started providing the army and all the armed forces with the latest sophisticated land, marine and air force weapons. Presently, the army will be provided with the latest electronic equipment of the AWACS to cope with modern regimes. There are plans for developing training programs for troops, non-commissioned ranks as well as officers, and other plans for sending many of them abroad for military training courses. In addition, there are plans for conducting occasional military maneuvers for all the regiments to raise their military proficiency and fighting competency. Thus, the armed forces can be constantly prepared to undertake their commitments, to defend the whole nation and preserve its security and stability, and to participate effectively with our brothers in defending our mutual cause and retrieving our usurped rights. يسعدني باسم الحركة الرياضية والشباب الكويتي أن أتقدم بالشكر الجزيل لمقام حضرة صاحب السمو أمير البلاد المفدى على مبادرته السامية بتكريم الرياضيين الذين قدموا انتصارات للكويت في هذا اليوم ودعمه ومساندته للحركة الرياضية كما لا يسعني إلا التقدم لسموكم الكريم وحكومتكم الرشيدة بالشكر الجزيل للمساعدة والتشجيع والتوجيهات للأسرة الرياضية مع عمبري يظهر الدخيل الدخيل شوت شوت الله 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 The wise Kuwaiti leadership realized early enough that the Kuwaiti Arab citizen is the target 
being the real national resource and the creator of his progress and culture. The Kuwaiti youth have accomplished many great achievements in various practical and scientific fields. In sports, the Kuwaiti youth have gained global and Asian victories and hoisted the banner of their country on many an international athletic occasion. Kuwait won the Global Military Football Championship. The Kuwaiti national team represented Asia in the World Cup Championships held in Spain in 1982. Kuwait also won the Asia Cup and represented Asia at the Moscow Olympics.